Hello, a very good afternoon to you. A rather cloudy day across the country today. Good afternoon. For some parts of the UK, what looks like a drier than average April turned into a slightly wetter than average April, thanks to some heavy rain on the last day of the month. That was the scene umbrella certainly required in Glasgow. As you can see from the satellite and radar picture, there was a lot of cloud. There was some very heavy rain, the wettest weather we've had for quite some time. But that rain has been on the move southwards. And so those northern parts of the UK are enjoying something much drier and brighter today. No umbrellas required there in Glasgow this afternoon. Now, this is the pressure chart as we move out of Monday into Tuesday. A frontal system trying to push in from the west, but with pressure remaining relatively high, the rain that we're going to see through the week ahead will be quite sporadic, not desperately reliable. So if you are looking for rain for the garden, well, there will be some, but not an awful lot. It will often be dry, largely frost-free this week, and then signs that it will turn warmer for the end of the week. Well, the bobble hats were great, but I don't think we're going to be needing them any time soon. A little bit too warm for that. Uh, we're going to talk about first just how dry April was, and it really was a very, very dry month indeed. Um, these are the average rainfall percentages across uh, the nations of the UK. This is up until the 28th of April. We'll talk about the very end of April in just a second, but some parts of southern Britain only had about a third of what you would normally expect, a third of the rainfall. Um, this is the explanation. So basically early April we had this Azores high building across the UK. That means it deflected all the weather fronts, all the storms to the north of us, just clipping northern parts of Scotland. And then later in April we also had high pressure, but this time it was developing across Scandinavia and closer to Iceland. And the rainfall was being deflected to the south towards Iberia and France. So there was rainfall around our neighbourhood. We just kept missing the rain. And in fact it's a pattern we've seen in the last few years. We all remember lockdown 2020 April warm sunny and dry but the record was actually about 150 years ago or so that was the driest April and record but also in the last few years with the same token we've had some very wet April so we do tend to get these extremes from very wet months to very dry months now let's talk about the very very end of April because the statistics have been messed up a little bit now it's a statistician's nightmare because we did have a good dollop of rain which swept across the country in the last 24 hours so it has topped up um, these uh, rainfall values across at least some parts of the country. Not an awful lot in the south, but a little bit, I think, in the last 24 hours or so. Now, towards the end of the week, we are going to see a change. Remember that Azores high that I showed you on those schematics earlier on? Well, here it is building back again, bringing dry weather, especially towards more southern parts of the UK. But also around this area of high pressure, there'll be a current of mild, even quite warm air coming in from the Azores, which will sort of topple over into the British Isles. So if you look at the outlook for the next few days, it does look as though those temperatures are going to recover, uh, perhaps to around 21 or so in London by Thursday, but further north, I think the mid or high teens. So changes on the way. In the meantime, have a good bang holiday Monday. <laughs> Hello, a very good evening to you. Now, many places across the country seeing some much needed rain over the last 24 hours. As we go through this week, there's very little rain in the forecast, but there will be a few showers to come over the next few days and nights. Bright or sunny spells to look forward to. And gradually, our weather will be warming up towards the end of this week. Hello again, a very good evening to you. We may be into the new month, but the weather hasn't quite got the memo. So sluggish April showers continuing for the first week of May. But that said, it's still a relatively benign story and we get away with a decent amount of sunshine between those showers as well. Temperatures get a boost, so actually a good deal warmer by midweek and beyond too. But where we do so furthest east, that could just trigger the odd shower, mostly dry though, and already look, our temperatures on the rise up to 17 degrees and we'll be into the 20s with some sunshine by Thursday. Good evening. For most of us, it was a cloudy day today with outbreaks of rain here and there. Best of the sunshine actually in Scotland and Northern Ireland. How about the next two or three days? The mixed bag is expected to continue sunny spells and scattered showers. 